Hello and welcome back to another tutorial video for uh, LSPDFR. Uh, in this tutorial, we're gonna go over how to change ELS lights uh, different colors. Uh, so the first thing you wanna do is open Open 4 or Open IV, however you wanna pronounce it. Um, where you get Grand Theft Auto 5, Windows version. I'm assuming you already have open uh, four, otherwise you wouldn't be trying to change lights. You wouldn't have lights to change if you didn't already have this program installed because you wouldn't be able to install uh, any non-vanilla GTA vehicles. So if you don't know how to do this, uh, there are videos on YouTube. I actually talk about it in the um, ELS video that I made. So you can go back and look at it there. There's also links for it there. I'll probably put a link in the description here too. Anyway, uh, come in here. Now you need to find uh, where you installed um, your non-vanilla or aftermarket vehicles. So I use GTA 5 enough to know where I have mine installed. So you go into the mods folder. You always want everything installed in the mods folder. Uh, update. X64. DLC packs. Um, find the latest DLC patch, which happens to be patch day 22. Uh, DLC.RPF x64 levels gta5 vehicles.rpf so if you're watching this video you know i don't know a few months to years after it's been created your patch day is going to be different you can see here um i was in patch day 22 every new patch adds a new folder so you'll want to go in your latest patch um or wherever you happen to have your vehicles installed which is usually the latest patch day so we'll go back to the vehicles.rpf. Uh, this is where you have your aftermar aftermarket vehicles installed. So I have an entire police pack um, installed in here. Uh, the one I want to edit just for simplicity's sake is the police, the very first police vehicle. So we'll go ahead and just double click on it right here. And it opens up a texture viewer. Um, so in here you can see all the different textures that make up the vehicle. You can see the skins. This is also where you come to change the skins. That's pretty straightforward. Um, maybe I'll make another video on how to do that. But today's video is someone's playing on Steam. Um, changing ELS lights. Did I miss them? I missed them. So there they are. That's what we want. You can see that this car has red and blue. We're going to make them all blue. Uh, you can make them green. You can make them amber. I think there's a couple other colors, but I don't know why you'd want any of those other colors. So... Um, this one with the check mark, those are the ELS lights. You'll know this because it says Liberty Emiss, which I think stands for Liberty Emissive, I'm assuming. I don't know. Um, then export selected to the desktop um, as a PNG. Then go ahead and save it. It should export. There it is already up here in the left-hand corner. Um, now, for the next part, you're going to need... Um, uh, a photo editor either gimp gimps free or photoshop i have photoshop so go ahead and open it there um wait for it to load in okay so now that you've got it loaded it should look like this um so no another thing some car packs actually might come with templates that allow you uh they'll, they'll give you these individual markers here led uh light covers in different colors so that you can um, easily make changes on your own. It's actually really easy to do. So to make them all blue, which is the goal of this video, select one of them, control C, control V, paste it over the red, good enough. Next one, same thing, if we can get it, good enough. Good enough again. We'll finish up these other two. Yeah, right there. And finally, right there. All right, then we will save it on your computer. Yes, uh, we want it as a PNG. Yes, we want to save over it. Okay, close. Um, Photoshop or GIMP, whatever you're using. 
Now you sh should be able to look up in the right hand corner. It's really tiny. Uh, there, all the lights are blue. There's a, like a dark amber or an orange light, and then two or three or four white lights, which are like your takedowns and some other LEDs that flash white. Now, um, we're gonna. We actually need to open up a new window. Oops, new internet window. There might be a faster way to do this. I haven't found a way to do it, but uh, you need to convert your PNG to a DDS, which is the original file that it um, was in, in the, or how it lived inside a GTA uh, game folder. So we will choose the file that we want. Not there, it's on the desktop. Where is it? Liberty Emiss. So we'll open it. Target format is a DDS. Um, we'll convert now. Keep the original image size we already checked. That's what we want. Okay, so there it is with a weird name. We'll go ahead and download it. Did I download? Oh, oh, there we go. Download it. Drag it out to the desktop. And we'll name it Liberty underscore Emiss. Okay. You can go ahead and close that. Now right here. Um, right click it. Oh, excuse me. Um... We need to turn edit mode on. That's why I don't have the option. Okay, edit mode. Um, all right, that was my bad. I, I needed to close out the window and, and uh, turn on edit mode first. It, or turn on edit mode, close the window, then open a new one. So there I have it. Now I have all these options up here. Um, I can go ahead and it's select the Liberty Miss, make sure it's check marked. Go up, come up here to the top of the window, the Open IV Texture Editor, hit replace, and then we want um, that's confusing. I should have erased. Uh, so that's the PNG. This one must be the DDS. Okay, we want the DDS file. So we open it. Voila! There are our all blue lights. So that's what will show up on the car. Now that's half the battle, so we have to save it. It'll take, a, I don't know, five seconds or so to write it all back. Come on. And it's done. So now the car lights are blue. Um, they'll flash blue, they'll look blue on the car. However, um, on the ground, it will still show red. So uh, we can go ahead and close out Open IV. Um, open up our... GTA 5 um, game folder, which is F for me, Steam Apps, Common, GTA 5. That's the, oops, the folder that we're um, modding files in. So come up here to the ELS. Actually, I can put it in the center. I'm not doing anything funny with it. Pack default. Now we're looking for a police. Police, police, police. Where are you? There you are. Um, go ahead and open it with any kind of a texture editor. Notepad works. I like Notepad Plus. Um, just because it's, I don't know, it looks like programming, it'll let you know, um, uh, I don't even know what they're called, it's just, it looks more organized. Um, alright, so now what we're looking for is right up here in the EOV, uh, it's E override, I don't know why I spelled it out. Um, so you can see here, blue, blue, red, red, white, white, red, red, blue. All the reds, we want to go ahead and change to blue. 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 And blue. All right. Um, go ahead and save that. And that's it. Um, you might have to make some tweaks afterwards. We'll go ahead and jump in the game and look and see. Uh, sometimes there's some weird stuff that happens with, um, uh, like indicators and things like that. They'll still flash really brightly red for some reason. So it looks kind of funky, but we can go ahead and change that if we need to. But let's start the game and see how it looks. All right, uh, the game's loaded in. Um, and right about here, I'll, I'll play a video clip of what the car looked like um, before I changed the lights to blue. I realized I didn't um, 
do any commentary when I was recording that video clip. So here it is. This is what they look like. They're all red. Or, excuse me, they're red and blue. Uh, now we'll go outside. We'll spawn in a police car and we'll see how the lights look. Oh, now they bumped the mouse. All right, let's hop inside. We'll go ahead and move it out of the street. And turn them on. And there we have it, all blue lights. It was literally that simple. Uh, you can actually also change the back windshield using the same method. You can change the skins using the, the, the vehicle skin using the same method. Uh, I'll probably go ahead and make some videos on those too, just because people ask frequently. But uh, yeah, that's it. Let's see how it looks at night. So we can see, uh, I can already tell in the garage, I can see the environmental lights uh, reflecting off the walls and they are in fact blue. But we'll go ahead and change the time to nighttime to make sure it all looks kosher. And blue lights reflecting everywhere. That's what we want to see. Okay. That's it. Uh, pretty straightforward. The most difficult part is probably getting a copy of Photoshop if you don't want to pay for it, or GIMP and setting it all up and learning how to use it. Learning how to use both, honestly, either one. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and we will see you in the next one.